While the Grand Canyon is a well-explored and scientifically understood natural wonder, there are a few intriguing mysteries and stories that have captivated people's imaginations over the years. These tales may have alternative explanations or lack concrete evidence, but they continue to spark curiosity and speculation. Here are a few notable mysteries associated with the Grand Canyon. According to an intriguing tale that has circulated for many years, there are whispers of an underground city hidden within the depths of the Grand Canyon, allegedly built by ancient Egyptians in a distant past. This remarkable claim has captured the imaginations of many adventure seekers and conspiracy enthusiasts. The story goes that in the early 20th century, a Smithsonian-funded expedition ventured into the Grand Canyon and stumbled upon a vast network of tunnels and chambers deep within the earth. These underground passageways were said to be intricately carved and decorated with Egyptian-style hieroglyphics, statues, and artifacts. Legend has it that the remnants of an advanced Egyptian civilization sought refuge in this hidden city, escaping the turmoil and upheaval of their homeland. These Egyptians supposedly crossed the Atlantic Ocean, traversed the American continent, and found solace within the natural fortress of the Grand Canyon. The story of G. E. Kincaid and his alleged discovery of the underground Egyptian city in the Grand Canyon is one of the most enduring and intriguing accounts associated with this mysterious site. While the veracity of his claims remains a subject of debate, his story has captured the imagination of many. According to the tale, in 1909, Kincaid, an experienced explorer and archaeologist, embarked on an expedition deep into the heart of the Grand Canyon. While the specific details of his journey are somewhat elusive, it is believed that he was working for the Smithsonian Institution at the time. Kincaid ventured into a remote and little explored region of the canyon, possibly accompanied by a small team of fellow adventurers. During his explorations, Kincaid reportedly stumbled upon an ancient and concealed entrance that led to a vast underground complex. The entrance, hidden within the canyon's walls, is said to have been well camouflaged, making it nearly imperceptible to the casual observer. Upon entering, Kincaid discovered an extensive network of rooms, passages, and chambers that hinted at an Egyptian influence. Kincaid's account of the underground city described remarkable sights. He claimed to have encountered intricately carved Egyptian-style artifacts, including statues, obelisks, and ornate columns. The walls were adorned with hieroglyphics and frescoes, depicting scenes of ancient Egyptian life and religious rituals. Mummified remains, possibly belonging to royalty or high-ranking individuals, were also said to have been found within the chambers. The alleged discovery of an Egyptian underground city in the heart of the American Southwest garnered significant attention and generated widespread excitement. It is believed that Kincaid shared his findings with the Smithsonian Institution, as well as with several newspapers of the time. However, Despite the initial interest, the story gradually faded from public view, and the precise location of the underground city remained undisclosed. Critics of Kincaid's account argue that there was a lack of verifiable evidence and documentation to support his claims. No official records from the Smithsonian or other reputable sources have been found to corroborate his discovery. Skeptics contend that the story may have been embellished or entirely fabricated to attract attention and promote sensationalism. Nonetheless, the tale of G.E. Kincaid's underground Egyptian city discovery endures as an enduring part of the folklore surrounding the Grand Canyon. It adds to the allure and mystery of the region, sparking curiosity and encouraging further exploration and investigation. Legend has it that the entrance to this mysterious city was veiled in secrecy and hidden a mind-boggling 400 meters beneath the towering canyon walls. It was so well concealed that even the river above couldn't catch a glimpse of it. The government had gone to great lengths to protect this clandestine location, imposing severe penalties for anyone who dared to access it without authorization. Now, imagine Kincaid's excitement when he stumbled upon distinctive chisel marks adorning the entrance wall. Who could resist such a tempting invitation? Not our intrepid explorer. With a leap of faith, he decided to venture inside his heart racing with a thrill of discovery. And what did he find? As Kincaid delved into the depths of the earth, he encountered an underground metropolis that defied all imagination. It was a marvel of advanced engineering, with a monumental central chamber resembling the hub of a colossal wheel. 
radiating from this hub were passageways that mimicked the spokes of a wheel connecting to its rim. The walls of the main chamber were adorned with captivating copper weapons and tablets inscribed with symbols and hieroglyphs, reminiscent of ancient Egypt. But that's not all. Among the wonders within the subterranean marvel were mummified bodies, towering over 2.74 meters in height, wrapped in dark linen. Can you picture the awe in Kincaid's eyes as he captured the essence of these towering spectacles with his flashlight? Sadly, the photographs that documented this monumental find have been lost to the passage of time. As Kincaid continued his explorations, he uncovered the mysteries of the religious beliefs of the supposed giant civilization. Deep within the city, he discovered a chamber with a sprawling cross-shaped layout, a sacred space that may have served as a sanctuary for worship. Inside, an idol in a meditative posture had delicate lotus or lily blossoms in each hand. Interestingly, the idol's feature bore a striking resemblance to Eastern traditions, sparking theories about connections to the spiritual realms of Buddhism. But the surprises didn't stop there. Curiosities in the form of ceramics and artifacts emerged, bearing unmistakable trademarks from far-flung corners of the world. This extraordinary amalgamation of cultural influences made this discovery truly one of a kind. Unlike anything seen before in the realm of archaeology, deeper and deeper Kincaid and his esteemed companion, Professor S. A. Jordan, ventured into the labyrinthine depths of the subterranean city, and at long last, they reached their awe-inspiring destination, a ceremonial crypt. Nestled at the very end of a grand hall, this crypt exuded an aura of reverence and mystery. Unfortunately, the details of this crypt and the subsequent developments that unfolded remain shrouded in secrecy, leaving us longing for more. Now, here's where things get even more intriguing. Despite the astounding nature of this discovery, Official accounts or references to this enigmatic subterranean city are conspicuously absent. Even the renowned Smithsonian Institution, when questioned, denies any knowledge or recognition of its existence. This mysterious silence casts doubt on the truth of the claims made in the article, fueling our curiosity and urging us to explore uncharted territories. Regardless of whether this mesmerizing narrative can be verified, the tale of the lost giant city in the Grand Canyon continues to capture our imagination. It beckons adventurers, historians, and enthusiasts alike to unravel the hidden truths behind within its depths. Now, imagine yourself standing alongside these explorers, with the sun beating down on your wide-brimmed hat and the smell of dust and adventure in the air. As they pushed deeper into the wild terrain, their hearts quickened for they had stumbled upon something truly remarkable. Imagine their eyes widening with astonishment as they beheld the rock carvings hidden within the canyon walls. But wait, what are these rock carvings, you might ask? Well, these ancient carvings, known as petroglyphs, were no ordinary doodles on stones. Oh no, they were vivid snapshots of history and culture etched into the very fabric of the rocks themselves. Human figures, majestic animals, celestial wonders, and intriguing symbols leaping out at you from the desert canvases. It's as if the rocks had come alive with a tale to tell. These petroglyphs were no easy puzzle to unravel, like deciphering a cryptic code. Researchers and archaeologists dedicate themselves to unlocking the secrets hidden within these ancient artworks. Their hearts race with anticipation as they piece together the fragments of a forgotten world. These petroglyphs held the key to understanding the lives and beliefs of the Native American tribes who once roamed the Southwest. As researchers delved deeper into the mystery, they discovered the petroglyphs were windows into a vibrant past. A past filled with sacred ceremonies, daring hunts, and even prophecies written across the heavens. Can you imagine the thrill of standing before a petroglyph? Knowing that its faded lines were etched by hands that vanished into the mists of time? Now, let's talk about time itself. Determining the precise age of these ancient artworks turned into an archaeological odyssey? It was a race against time to unlock the secrets of the past. Researchers used every trick in the book, examining artifacts, studying the surrounding geology, and even diving deep into the realms of stylistic analysis. And what did they uncover? A rich tapestry of history spanning hundreds to thousands of years, connecting us to the very essence of the past. Remember, these mysteries may have alternative explanations or lack concrete evidence, 
but they continue to spark curiosity and speculation. The Grand Canyon, with its rich history and breathtaking beauty, never fails to captivate the imagination. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep seeking the hidden wonders of our world.